Welcome to the homework for lesson 20. This is module three of grade three. Please get your name on there first. We're using charts to complete the equations and then solving. <clears throat> so here's the equation we need. We're looking for two rows of five times 10. So here's the chart. Here's two rows of five ones. And times 10 means we're just going to move these. We're just going to change the units from ones to tens. And then we could just count them by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right? So or 10 ones times 10. So the same as multiplying by 10. Multiplying by 10, one of the easier numbers to multiply by. All right. So here we now we have... one row of five and we're multiplying it by 10 moving into the tens and we're doubling it at the same time so it's two times five times ten so is this five times ten by moving into the tens and then doubling it on top of that which is the same as two times five tens that's a hundred because that's fifty and that's 50. And we're going to do the same sort of thing with this pair. Here we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, right? Four rows of 5. And we're multiplying it by 10 by just moving them all into the tens. And so we're changing the units from ones to tens. And that's 20 ones times 10 200 right because this would be 50 50 50 50 there's a hundred there's another hundred that's 200 we could also look at this if we just started what if we started with just one group of five so here we have and then now we're going to multiply that one group of five by 10 and make five of them so just by moving into the tens place now it's a row of instead of being a row of five now it's a row of 50 because it's 10 20 30 40 50 50 50 50 it's the same thing we just looked at over here four times five times ten so it doesn't matter if you do the four times five first or the five times ten first it's all commutative as long as it's all multiplication, it doesn't matter which two you multiply first. That's the associative property. So four times, what you can look at it is 20 ones times 10, or four times five tens. It's going to be 200 either way. Solve and place parentheses in C and D as needed to find the related fact. All right, so let's just finish A and B first, and then we'll look at C and D. 3 times 20 is the same as 3 times 2 times 10. You could also look at it as 3 times 2, which would be 6. And 6 times 10 is 60. On this side over here, we're going to look at 3 times 30. Now we can look at 3 times 30 as here we have 3 times, and 30 is 3 times 10, right? Now we can change this grouping by thinking of, well, it's easier to multiply by 10 last. So let's do the 3 times 3 first, and that's 9, which 9 times 10 is 90. And after you've seen a couple of these, it might start to make a little more sense. So looking at 3 times 40, because we, we practiced this before with smaller numbers, but we're looking to just change how we group everything to make it maybe a little bit easier to use our multiplication by 10 skills now. So 3 times 40. 
you can think of this as three times and the 40 here right is four times ten and then what we're going to do is instead of doing the four times ten first we're going to do the three times four first all right so that's what we're doing we're placing parentheses as needed to find the related fact so we're going to do the three just try doing the three times four first that's 12 and 12 tenths 120. we want to get it set up so that we're multiplying by 10 last so look at the three times 50. well that's the same as three times five times 10 right because that's the 50. and then what if we did the three times five first that would be 15 times 10. that's 150. so it's it's easier to figure out the three times five and then multiply by 10 than it is to figure out three times 50. and i'm like if you're going to do it in your head that's the way you would do it in your head anyway isn't it because you'd look at this three times 50 and you think, oh, well, that's 3 times 5 times 10. That's 15. So it's 150. That's just the same way you would do it in your head, probably. Danny solves 5 times 20 by thinking about 10 times 10. Explain his strategy. Okay, so if he's thinking about 10 times 10, let's look at this. How do we get 10 times 10 out of 5 times 20? Let's look at 5 times 20. Let's just write it down first. This is what he's solving. Now, we want to get a 10 out of this somehow. So think about 20. That's 2 times 10, right? This is just like what we've been doing with the balloons up here. That's 2 times 10. And now we're looking at 5 times 2 times 10. And what's 5 times 2? That's 10. So we're looking at 10 times 10. And we know what 10 tens is. That's 100. And that explains the strategy.